Hello there, this is Tony Nicole from Red Carpet Dolls by Tony Nicole, and I'm excited to post this new video. In this video, we'll be showing you how to make these awesome vertical blinds for your doll's window. It's a really cool added detail to a room, and I hope you enjoy it. So, we'll be needing poster board, our hole puncher, a wooden dial, paint, pony beads, a popsicle stick, a ruler, and of course our hot glue gun. So, I have this awesome poster board and it's really hard to tell on the camera but it's got a grid printed on the back with these um, lines on there. So, we're going to use those lines to cut our blinds out. And I kind of traced a few in ink so you could see it. So, I'm just going to cut on those lines to create our blinds. So that was super simple and of course if you don't have the pre-printed grid on the back of your poster board you could use a ruler to make your blinds and I also discovered that the popsicle stick is almost the same size as a pre-printed grid so you could just trace the size of your popsicle stick to get uh, the width of your blinds. So I cut out 25 of them and you might need more or less depending on the size of your window and we used our hole punch to punch a hole the top of each blind. So I'm going to double check our measurements to make sure that uh, it's cut long enough, make sure that it fits inside the window, make sure that I have enough to cover the entire window. From there we'll take our wooden dial and do a, a measurement across our window. Then we'll cut, and this is optional, but I'm just gonna add a little white paint so it can match the blinds. So when the paint is dry, I'll simply insert our wooden dial into the holes of our blinds. And you can see that um, once it's on there, they move pretty freely. You could slide them back and forth or spread them out and kind of flatten them out, almost like real window blinds. And this window right here, I used this window here, I used foam board to create the window frame. So it, to give, it gives it a 3D effect and it creates a little spot to put my wooden dial so I could place my blind. little tiny spot on the inside so I could simply just insert the dowel inside the little spot and it stays up there pretty well and you could uh, move the blinds and adjust them accordingly um, but if you wanted something a little more sturdy then we're just going to use hot glue to apply a, a pony bead to each end of our dowel. And that makes it a little more sturdy, it gives uh, it something to brace onto. So you could insert that again into the little space between the window frame and adjust your blinds and you should be good to go. And you could also glue that in if you want to, but quite frankly, I, I don't think you need to because of the window frame. It provides a, a perfect space to put um, the wooden dowel with the pony beads. Now, this window right here uh, I just framed it with paper so it's flat one dimensional there's no space that that foam board provided for us so we're just going to simply use our hot glue gun to glue the beads onto the window I added some tool to provide a little drapery on our windows and it's complete it's pretty fast and quick and simple. I would love for crafters out there, somebody that does this, 
somebody that loves this like I do to kind of think of a way to make some horizontal blinds um, using maybe string or thread or something make like, real functional blinds that would be so awesome if you could think of that please contact me let me know I'd love to see it thank you so much for watching I appreciate you guys please contact me and my Facebook page red carpet dolls by Tony Nicole I'll see you next time thanks so much have a good one